I want to talk about the movie Home Alone. Yes. With Macaulay Culkin. Home. Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone. The original. OG Home Alone. Not number two. Not number three. Not number four, I believe. Oh, four is not even the same anything. But go on. (laughs) But, uh, no, I. We recently were setting up for Christmas. We're putting out the tree. Because this, again, I know we've mentioned it a few times, but we record these much earlier than they come out. Yes. So it's it's the beginning of December for us now. Uh, we were decorating for Christmas, and we were like, hey, let's let's watch Home Alone with the kids. And yeah. So we did that thing. Have you you've seen Home Alone, right? Of like, course. Absolutely. When was the last time you watched it? Oh, it's been a while. Um uh, probably a good seven, eight years, I think. Do you like this movie? I do like this movie. Uh, that was back when I loved everything Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> what other? Did, like, I was a son? Macaulay Culkin kid. Uh, Richie Rich. Um, Page Master. Home Alone. And... Do you see The Good uh, I think son? that's all he did. No, which one's that? It's like a horror movie about uh, this lady's got two kids, but one is crazy and trying to kill the other. And one is a good son? One's a good son, yeah. There's Elijah Wood and Macaulay Culkin. Macaulay Culkin is the murderous kid, and uh, really? I think Elijah Wood ends up killing him, like throws him off a cliff at the end of the movie. I don't remember. <laughs> Spoiler I, alert. I saw it when I was a kid, and it terrified me. Oh, so they were kids in the movie? Yeah, yeah. This is all around the same oh. time. No, I don't remember that one. Um, what's the other one I'm thinking of? My Girl. Oh, yeah. He dies in that, too, huh? Yeah. All those beasts. Also, little known fact, there's an after credit scene of Home Alone uh, 2. He dies. Oh, really? Donald Trump kills him? Yeah. You know he's in the second one? I haven't seen the second one in uh, probably even longer time. I've probably actually only seen that one once. That's mm. that, Is that the loss in New York, right? Yeah. Um, so I don't have much memory. In fact, probably a lot of the two movies run together. Mm. Well, um, so rewatching the first one with my kids, I was surprised yeah. at how little time is given to the actual house setup. Like I, I, in my head, that was always the whole movie was them setting up or him setting up for them to break into the house, him protecting it. But that all yeah. like happens within like five minutes. Oh really? Yeah, he so he's at he gets left left home alone and is like having fun. Then the burglars start trying to get into the house and he keeps scaring them off, scaring them off. Um and then he like panics and is like, you know what, I'm I don't know what to do. They're coming back at nine o'clock. And <laughs> uh he's like, I'm gonna defend my house. He makes a plan, sets everything up in a couple minutes. Then they break in, and there's only like maybe ten gags against the burglars, and I felt like there was, you know, a lot more than that. Yeah, thinking back on it, it does feel like there's a lot more. Like, can you name any of them? Um. Okay. So I want to say there is a hot iron. Yes. And there is. Oh, something in, is is there something with a like glue and a like a bag? Um, there's tar on the step with Maybe a that's... nail. Ooh, yeah, I don't remember that. He steps on the nail and falls down the stairs. So he got tetanus. Okay, yeah. the tetanus um, trap. Maybe a... the tetanus trap. Um, I want to say there was some some sort of gun, like uh, something that shoots something. He's got or a, like a he's got slingshot a BB gun. BB gun, okay, because he shoots toys with it. Yes, but he shoots him in the beginning. But I don't think he ever uses the BB gun once they actually try to break into the house. Okay, I, for some reason I thought I remember seeing like there was he they come around a corner or something. He's got it set up, and there the dude's like staring then down the barrel at him. Yeah, so he. He sticks his head in the doggy door to try to see if anyone's Yeah, home. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. And he shoots him right in the forehead. The 
That's uh, yeah, that'll hurt. <laughs> but there is also uh, he puts a hot iron on the door handle. Joe Pesci yeah. burns his hand. Um, he pours water all over all the stairs, the concrete stairs, so they freeze and turn into ice. And so That's both right. guys end up falling for that. Um, Someone he, broke a shin. Broke a shin? Broke something in their leg. Um, he puts a torch on the door frame, so when Joe Pesci walks in, his head gets caught on fire. Oh, <laughs> Classic. He put uh, ornaments down by the window. So when, um, what's the other guy's name? There's Joe Pesci and. Oh, I, I couldn't tell you his name in real life. It's uh, Merv. Uh, Marv. Is that his name in the movie? I think it's Merv in the movie. Yeah, that sounds right. You know, as that guy comes in the window, but this is after he's tried going up the basement and it got a nail in his foot. He comes yeah. in the window barefoot and steps on ornaments. And that one is only convenient if the guy is barefoot. Yeah, what if he wasn't? Yeah, he would have just stepped on ornaments and been fine. <laughs> and his name is Daniel Stern, by the way. Oh, Daniel Stern. Uh, yeah. he, he sets up micro machines that they all step on and fall down. Then he has uh, paint cans at the top of the stairs that he hits them in the head with. And that's yeah, kind that's, of... that's what I was thinking of. That was kind of the end of it. That was like all the defenses. I, I I probably missed one or two, but like that's about it. Hmm. Um, well, it kind of worked. It kept him at bay for the time. Yeah, until uh, they caught him. <laughs> they yeah. Apparently, they uh, so they hang so they hang up. They catch him in the house, hang him on a, a coat rack, and so Macaulay Culkin is just <laughs> sitting there, can't do anything. And Joe Pesci's like, I'm going to eat your fingers off. And he bites him. But in real life, he bit him so hard that he broke the skin. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It was like, well, that's that's not okay. You can't do that to a little kid. Oh, man. Let's, let's talk about if this happened in 2017 in real life. That kid would be murdered, right? If they weren't going to murder before. Yeah. After everything he did, that kid would be murdered. Probably. I, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Like, it would, if the burglars are trying to get into a house and a kid was doing all that stuff, yeah, it probably would not end well for that kid. Does okay. it ever say, is there something specific about that house that they really want, or is it just another rich person's house? He said it's like the mother load. Like, it's the, it's the holy grail on that street. Like... Once he got inside, he, like, saw everything. Because he shows up, Joe Pesci acts like a cop and is like, hey, just right. so you guys know, the Christmas time, we just want to give you guys some tips if you're leaving town. And they're like, oh, yeah, we're leaving tomorrow, but we, you know, we have automatic lights. We, you know, we stopped the mail. We did all this stuff so people know that, so people think that we are home. And so yeah. Joe Pesci knows now, like, oh, well, you're not going to be home. And he, like, scopes everything out and is like, this is going to be the mother load. They got so much stuff for us to take. Hmm. Okay. Now, at what point, if you're, if you are Joe Pesci, are you like, all right, you know what? This this house is not even worth it. Not worth the nails in my feet, getting shot in the head with a BB gun, and getting like third degree burns. I'm gonna just probably move on. Or is it one of those like pride things where you're like, it's not even about robbing anymore. It's about not getting bested by a child. I think that's what it's more about. I think at that point, because he the kid like scares him off a few times, because um, they show up one time and he's got like all these uh, cut out figures acting like they're having a dance party. <laughs> yeah, that was always my favorite part, where it looked like a Christmas party. Yeah, and then he uses exactly. the movie at one point and uh, firecrackers. But that's to get pizza, right? Well, he does that to the pizza guy, but then. Uh, the other guy, Daniel Stern, shows up, and he does it again, but uses firecrackers this time to make it sound like he's actually shooting at him. Yeah, okay. But, yeah, this movie is... I Watching it again, I liked it a whole lot less than I remembered. Like, in my head, it was such a better movie than rewatching it. Rewatching it kind of tainted it for me. Huh. 
Now, is it because you know what Macaulay Culkin grows up to be? <laughs> I don't. I don't just, really just have. A strange, strange person. I don't have much problem with them. I, I don't know. I don't have any. Per- I mean, I know him personally. I don't have any like personal issues with him. But he's a weird. Do you say dude. you know him personally? Yes. <laughs> okay. I wasn't sure. Mac, but... <laughs> as I call him. <laughs> he did sometimes just call him. He did make a YouTube short about uh, the character, what the character would be like now. And he was a Uber driver who was like all strung out and like has PTSD and all this stuff. That was pretty funny. Yeah, that sounds like it's probably just based on his real life. <laughs> well, he was in another. He was in Saved. I want to say with Mandy Moore. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that one. He was, he was like, in a wheelchair. In a wheelchair. Yeah, that was weird. Uh, yeah, that was he kind of disappeared for a while and then came back. And then I don't is he doing things now? I know he's got like uh some siblings that are actors now. And they're just like slightly less weird versions of him. His sibling, yeah. Cuz what's his brother's uh, name? Uh R- Rory Colkin and I feel like there's I feel like he's got two brothers. But I don't remember. The the Rory is the kid one of the kids from Signs. The boy. Yeah, yeah. And he was in what was that other movie with uh, S- uh Michael Sarah and the boyfriends. Michael Sarah. Oh, yeah. uh, Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Scott Pilgrim, there you go. He's in that one too, I believe. Uh, yeah, Kieran Culkin. That's and that's the one who's in Scott Pilgrim. So if Home Alone comes on TV, what are you going to do? I'll probably watch it just because it's been so long. Yeah. Um, and it's funny uh, because I actually saw a clip of something uh, or about Home Alone not that long ago on on Reddit, basically. Explaining what happened to Kevin's plane tickets. Have you seen that? Or have you ever noticed that? It gets thrown there's, away, right? Yeah, there's that. Is that. Okay, now I, I don't remember. Is that something that stands out in the movie? Sort of. Like he knocks the milk over onto the passports. The dad cleans everything. Right, there's up. that big kitchen table mess. And then, yeah, it kind of gets picked up and thrown away yeah. with a bunch of trash. Um, now also, if this was 2017 real life and these parents left without their child, what kind of penalties and punishments do you think would come down on this family? Yeah. There would definitely be something, right? Probably. I don't know. The- child, child in abandonment, child endangerment, uh, I- stupidness <laughs> is, is a, is a big one. Yeah. I think it's hard. I think it would be somewhat understanding in this situation because there was 17 people together and they had two, right, and two different that. cars. But, yeah, no, it would be pretty bad. Um, the worst the worst part about it, though, is they get a hold of the police department. And they send out yes. a cop and the cop is knocking on the door and he's like, oh, no one's answering and just leaves. He's already dead. <laughs> yeah. Like what? Like you just call him back and be like, hey. Do we have permission to break the lock? Do we have permission? You know, like, can we get in the house to check on him? Yeah, especially if he's not answering. You're like, yes, get in any possible way you can. Yeah. And uh, they would have gotten in and been like, hey, this is police. Uh, although he might have been afraid of the police, but clearly he would not have escaped. Like, he couldn't get away from Joe Pesci. He would have been fine. They would have caught him and like, hey, you know, your parents are on their way back. We're going to take you somewhere i don't know like just take him down to the police station for a a couple days though like because it took like four days for them to get back i don't know what i what do you what happens at that point like you wouldn't um i think after the third day maybe like a uh, foster first come first first come first serve whoever wants that kid (laughs) <laughs> oh, is that what it is? I thought that was you like... You lose your thir- parental rights after three days. I thought it was like a 30-day thing. Like, because if you, like, find oh. 20 bucks on the ground, you go drop it off at the police station. They're like, 30 days, no one claims it, it's yours. 
Uh, well, it's a little different for kids, obviously. Because you so. gotta feed them and stuff. Exactly. Yeah. It, the money holding the money is not gonna cost you money. Holding the kids is gonna cost money. You probably go to a, like I think they have like emergency foster care homes set up, right? Like, yeah. Uh, did your family maybe? do that? Did you guys ever do emergency style? Like, where like we got this kid, you know, it's just gonna be a couple of days, like until we can figure out a more permanent solution, and they just come and stay with you for a couple of days, right? Yeah, but those are typically kids that are in the system. I I don't know. I don't. I, I wonder how it would work. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. But, uh. Yeah, I don't know. If, it's tricky. If this comes on, I will probably not watch it. I might put it on for my kids because Harper really liked it. But yeah, so I'll probably give it a pass. I don't, I don't need to see it again. I think if you but like is that this. that just because you've watched it recently? Well, no. What I was going to say is I think if you do like this movie, if you have like fond memories of it, just leave it at that. You don't need to see it again. Because what happened for me is I watched it again, and I like it less now. I do have somewhat fun memories of it. So I I might watch it again. It would have to come on TV. I'm not going to search it out. Not at this point. Well, if you were to rewrite Home Alone, what would you do differently? Oh, I would change the ending. He would be murdered. <laughs> <laughs> because actions have consequences. You are mentally and physically abusing criminals. They are going to retaliate. <laughs> he should have just hid under the bed and waited for the whole thing to blow over. Yeah, I think... Or, you know, called the cops himself. I don't know. It's... He, in, in mine, he would be murdered. <laughs> Just go very dark. Like, is it going to start out all the same tone? Everything's it the same? It would be super light. It would be real funny. Everything <laughs> the same that happens, you know, with the, the tarantula and everything that happens. And then all of a sudden, at the very end, uh, the two guys, after getting arrested, make parole, right? Or they make bail, sorry. Show back up. Oh, Don't they- even bother, like... Trying to sneak in and steal stuff. They kick the door down, and he's dead. <laughs> so it's in front of his family. His family's already home. <laughs> it is New Year's Day. You think they only went to jail for six days, or is it a year and six days? Well, no. It, it, he just made bail. He they they let him out on bail on on five hundred grand. Oh, okay. But he had no intention of ever going back to prison. Yeah. <laughs> I would. If I were to remake Home Alone, yes. um, I think I would make it shorter. I think the length of time he's Home Alone is too long. Like, as in, like, it's not realistic? Yeah, I think him being a Home Alone for four days is too much time. Yeah, I, 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 I think overnight and a day is probably the most, with how hard his parents are trying to get a hold of people and, like, figure things out. So I think make that shorter. And then ramp up the the uh, traps, but make there a reason. Like establish that he is a genius kid who likes to create things. Like you know, if you do it now, he like makes robots and stuff like that. You know, like establish that he's really smart because that just comes out of nowhere. It should show him like setting up traps like for his family ahead of time. Yeah, showing that he does that kind of thing. But uh. Make it much more intense. Like in, uh, do you ever see Resident Evil? You're right. Yeah, one of the burglars should die. <laughs> yeah, where he just has that laser room. Tetanus. In uh, Resident Evil, there's this laser room where the laser pops up and chops a guy's leg off at the calf, and then the next nice. guy jumps over the laser, and then the third guy, I think, jumps over, but it goes instead of. Just a single laser, it turns into like this cross stitch pattern and just cuts them into oh. tiny little pieces. That's what nice. one of those things should have been. Yeah, they definitely should have used more lasers. Or leave everything the same. He accidentally kills both guys with a paint can because that's what would probably happen. Like, that's a tin. How, how heavy do you think a paint can is? Like a full paint can. Can of paint. A full paint. Oh, man. You're. 
Uh, I'm not good at judging weights. Uh, <laughs> five thousand pounds? <laughs> Probably five thousand pounds. Maybe two pounds. <laughs> but with the momentum of it swinging down the stairs. Oh, those guys for sure have a concussion at 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 minimum. Yeah, but I like just crack their skulls open, they die, and then he's home alone for another or, week with just two dead people. With in two, his dead, living room. <laughs> two dead bodies. <laughs> And then and it he, turns he into does like a weekend at Bernie's. Weekend, yeah, weekend at Bernie's, where the pizza, the same pizza guy keeps showing back up, and uh, he's trying to trick him into thinking that he's their uncle. They're his uncle. They're his uncles, yeah. <laughs> That's how I would regret it. Either one of those two options. Um. Yeah, I like the weekend at Bernie's thing. <laughs> that would definitely change the tone of the movie. That's what part two should have been. Not lost in New York, but weekend at the McAllisters. Weekend at the McAllisters. All right. Well, uh, if like you it. like our show, if you enjoy our podcast, you can go over to Patreon. dot com slash I seen that. Help support us. If you vote for Taylor or Alan, you get a chance to choose who's going to pay the punishment for that month. I think this yeah, episode yeah. is coming out in February, um, so it'll be whatever the punishment we've decided for that month is. You can follow us on uh, iTunes, Stitcher. I think we're on Spotify now. You can like us on right. Facebook or follow us on Twitter at I Seen That Pod. And we'd yes. also like to thank our sponsors, Boss Play, because they're super awesome. You should check them out. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> I never know what to say. 